Hi, this is Todd, and I'll be talking about Windows Live Mesh 2011. Uh, Windows Live Mesh has been around for a while, but uh, I just found it at the latest uh, release in two of the 2011. Uh, to get it, go to Google, type Windows Live Mesh 2011. Click on that. Uh, you click download or you can get the uh, entire Windows Live Essentials package. Um, per personally, I just use the Windows Live Mesh and the uh, Windows Live Mail. I'm sure most of you have heard about you know, Windows SkyDrive, which is just an online storage and backup offered uh, free by Microsoft. It's 5 gigabytes maximum storage. But uh, Windows Live Mesh takes that a couple steps further. Programs like Dropbox and Boxy are also uh, online backup and storage. Uh, Dropbox, I know, you can sync uh, one folder between computers. Uh, for example, if you have Dropbox uh, installed on three computers, you can sync one Dropbox folder between all three of those computers. There's no options to set up. But with Live Mesh, you can set up specific folders and sync them to specific places. For example, my documents I have synced to everything I haven't installed on so far, uh, my desktop, my laptop, and SkyDrive. My pictures I have synced between computers but not to SkyDrive. As I said, SkyDrive has a 5 gigabyte maximum storage. So you want to be a little bit choosy about what you put there. Now to sync a folder with Windows Live Mesh is fairly simple. You just choose a folder. I'll do uh, TPC Keep, which is a folder I've decided to share just to SkyDrive. It's um, basically uh, just files that I feel I need to back up, I don't want to lose. Uh, basically, so far, it's my wedding pictures. And to show you setting up one between computers. Now, to do this, it, it's a little bit more involved, but it's still simple. I'll just choose the stuff folder, which I have for uh, my uh, class files and I uh, whatever projects I'm working on things of that sort. See I didn't choose uh, I did that wrong let me back up a second. It's very easy to fix a mistake if you've made one. Just click on stop syncing. Alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sync the stuff folder to nothing, neither one of those. So it's just going to be uh, loaded up into Live Mesh, but it's not going to be synced anywhere. The reason I've done this, we see, it, if I had uh, just synced it between these two computers, and it had to create the folder on the other computer, it would create it in uh, the Documents folder there, which is kind of redundant since you're already syncing my documents. Or actually, it would just uh, in the user, not in my documents, but in the user file. Like if you're, uh, you know, C users, and then whatever your username is, it would go there. And I don't want it to sync there. But to do that, to put it where I want to on that computer, I have to take advantage of another aspect of Live Mesh, and that is to log onto that other computer, take control of it remotely. Just takes a second, and there we go. There's a the login screen to my laptop, and you'll see there's the two that I have. Uh, there's TPC Keep, which is going straight to SkyDrive, but not here. And here's stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sync this folder, and I'm going to place it.
since there was already a stuff folder. I'll sync it to the stuff folder and sync that. Now, as I said, you don't have to go through this. Um, if you have access, like my laptop's actually sitting right next to me, so I could have just turned it and uh, synced it and put it where I wanted to. But if you don't have access to it, like if you have a work computer and you uh, require to keep your files in a certain directory, you could remote over to that computer and uh, decide and uh, assign the folder to a specific location like I just did here. And another reason this is very useful is if you're a computer person like I am, your family or your friends probably ask you to fix their computer all the time. Uh, with Windows Live Mesh, you don't actually have to go over to their house to fix their computer anymore, which is very handy. And so that's Windows Live Mesh 2011. That's all there is to it.